Have you seen videos like this on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or even TikTok, and you keep wondering how it's done? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how it's done in less than one minute. And guess what? If you're running a faceless YouTube channel, maybe you want to increase your engagement or you want to captivate people. Well, this technique is going to do just that for you because it increases your engagement from this to this, trust me. Now, all you have to do is to come closer and pay attention while I show you how to do this. Let's dive in. So to get started, all you have to do is to come over to this platform. I'll be sharing the name of the platform much later in this tutorial. So you just focus on learning how to use it so that when you get the link, you can just jump on it and try it out. Now, all you have to do here is click on upload to upload the picture that you want to use. So I'm going to go with this picture and I'm clicking open and it's going to take some few seconds to analyze the picture and then automate it instantly. As you can see, we have the effect already, but this is not all. You can go ahead and set the animation length to maybe five seconds or six seconds and it's going to be a little faster. And then you set the animation style. Maybe you want it to go horizontally or you want it to go in a circle form or maybe you want it tall circle or vertical. So however you want it, anyone that you select, you can see is going in a tall circle, right? And then if you select circle, it's going to be going in circle. And then if you select wide circle, it's going to be going in wide circle. Then horizontal is going to be going horizontally like this. It's amazing how you can actually achieve this. And then perspective, depending on the perspective that you're actually watching it from, if you're using your phone, if you're lying down, it's going to be moving towards the way that you're lying on. And it's amazing the things that you can come up with this amazing tool. And then if you come over, to amount of motion, you can actually set if you want it less and it's going to be less depending on what you want to achieve with it. And if you want it regular, you can set it regular. And if you want it more, then you can set it more. So now you have a more active motion and it makes the picture come alive. <laughs> it's so amazing. And if you come to this focus point, you can see close, you can see center and you can see far. Anyhow you want to use it, just let your creativity run wild. Try it out on your own and let your creativity run wild. And then you have the edge dilation. The edge dilation, you can choose between zero zero to 1.5 and if we go for 0 0.5 you can see how the edges are actually matching the movement and all and if you use 1.5 it becomes more obvious and more realistic how cool is this now if you come over to advanced editor this gives you more control to a lot of things you can change the aptitude you can change the altitude you can change the altitude from z you know anyhow you want to do it you have all that control here but there's a particular settings that i want to share with you which is the depth map but don't play with this if you don't you know try it out and see how it goes in the first place now this is going to affect the quality if you want a better quality if you want a better resolution that is where you use the depth map and it's amazing what you can achieve with this and how you can turn your picture into a 3d motion graphics it's amazing and the fact that it's totally for free it's not paid for so you go ahead and try this out and let me know in the comment section what you think and once you're done with all your settings and you're good with the result the next thing you're going to do to export this is to click on share so here you can see save to your device so whichever one that you want to use is totally fine but i always go for mp4 if i want to use it for a video but if you want to post it on facebook yes why not you can actually use your picture let me show you one of my pictures let me upload one of my pictures so that i can show you what you can actually come up with if you want to animate your picture just something amazing and you're good to go so now you can see how it automatically turned this my thumbnail to admission you can use this for your video you can use this on instagram you can use this for your youtube community posts to drive more traffic to your long form videos because anybody that is scrolling through and comes across a thumbnail that is actually moving they will pay more attention to that post and want to now take action now the name of this platform is convert.leapix.com and here is the next video that youtube recommends that you watch on this channel so go ahead and watch it and thank me later see you on the other side